get rid of that. Play this while we wait for people to join in. Hey guys! Hello, Eratasami and Monk of Destiny. Wait, you guys can't hear stuff? Sorry, I had to re reset my uh, chat thing here. No audio. Hmm, it's showing up as working on mine. But you guys can't hear the music? Okay, cool. Let me boost it to... I'll just put in the... Um, put in the... Whoop, wrong thing. Let me uh, load this up. This will be a little louder so you guys can hear it better. Hey, recursion. How's that for a better level? Hey, Timothy. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ben Prunty. Um, and uh, every Saturday I do this creative live stream where I make music uh, and talk about it. Uh, today, we're going to be working on Dark Side Detective music. Um, this is for a particular section in the game. Uh, so the, the game is split into cases, uh, and I'll get into uh, the game itself more in a bit. Uh, the game is split into cases, and we're doing sort of the main music that plays during uh, a big portion of the case. So Dark Side Detective um, is a point-and-click adventure game in the style of, I would say, kind of similar to Monkey Island, where it's kind of this got this uh, irreverent kind of self-aware humor. And uh, you play as a detective, and uh, his kind of oddball partner um, solving occult-related mysteries. Uh, I've got some screenshots here from the case that I'm working on right now, uh, and I'll, I'll show you guys here. So 
this is the character you play as. Uh, this is some temporary art for uh, items that you're picking up. But uh, he's at a in this particular um, episode, you're uh, <clears throat> you're at a summer camp, and so you have to. Uh, find out what happened to your partner who went who goes missing for this episode so uh yeah so this is what it looks like <laughs> yes the the cook was smoking <laughs> uh the cook is awesome agnes i think her name is uh anyway i took these screenshots when i was playing earlier today so you can kind of see what this case looks like it's end of summer camp it's quiet, it's at night. Um, Paul's art is amazing. So, yeah, so we're doing music for this these, this area, this section of the game. <clears throat> so, let me pull this back up again. And so this is what I started yesterday. I'm, I like it, I'm not entirely sure uh, if I'm going to use it for the this section of the game, but I, it, I like it, and you guys heard it already. Well, I'll, I'll play it again because I'm sure a lot of you missed it. But this is what I wrote so far. So that's what I started yesterday, um, after playing that section a little bit. Uh, let me see, we got some uh, stuff in the comments here. I'll read through it. <laughs> the cook is my spirit animal. So I think it, so let me describe a bit about like the musical style of Dark Side Detective 2. Uh, so they asked me to make something that kind of sounded like John Carpenter music. John Carpenter is the filmmaker slash composer who wrote a lot of music for his own movies. Uh, and he does just music for... Uh, his own stuff too. He, he releases albums and such. And uh, so they gave me a lot of music from him to use as like a reference. And uh, <clears throat> I'm also sort of infusing it with like a sort of uh, a noir kind of vibe and a little bit of like, uh, like Elfman, Danny Elfman style music kind of thrown in there. Um, I'm trying to do like a whole lot of variety in the soundtrack because I don't want it to sound too uh, homogenous so I'm using like a lot of influences um, so but the carpenter influence is pretty obvious when you listen to it there's a lot of that the the strong bass line this thing here let me isolate this you can hear it um, sounds very uh, carpenter and kind of 80s this whole thing is starting to sound kind of 80s, which is fine by me. Um, I'm sure it'll work just fine. So, yeah. So then I put in these, like, kind of these weird chords that sort of uh, play off of each other. There's sort of like a conversation between uh, this instrument and this one. So this is the first one that you hear. And then I have another one, this instrument. So they play sort of together and they'll, they'll 
alternate. And so it's like kind of a conversation between two paths, sort of. And then this bell part comes in. So, uh, this bell part is a pretty simple melody. Um, I'll even uh, I'll solo it so you can hear it by itself. Uh, there's also a, a delay effect on it. Let me uh, pull this over here. This is the instrument panel for this, um, or the channel panel, I mean. Uh, we'll turn off the delay so you can just hear the bells by themselves. Play this whole thing. So now you're gonna you're gonna see the notes being played here. Okay, so actually this makes me want to change some of the velocities on this. I think the velocity on this note here is too low. It sounds a little too low, and this one coming up to it is too high. So we're gonna we're gonna pull this one down a little and pull this one up. I think that will sound better. Let's go back. Yeah, that's better. Uh, these two. Okay, so here's one thing. If you ever have like two notes, if you have a a note that starts on the the beat of a measure, like one, two, three, this starts on B3, and there's like a note that leads up to it. Um, here it's like a, an eighth note. Uh, you usually want, usually, are going to want the lead in note to be quieter than the note that it leads to. So we'll turn this down, turn this up a little bit. <clears throat> and it'll sound better, we we'll probably want to do it for this too. And this looks like it already is a little bit, but Let's try it now. Yeah, see, it sounds better already. This could be a little quieter. Uh, this could be a little more pronounced. Turn that down. This could be a little louder. Okay, so adjust that down a little bit too. So now we've we've uh sort of uh, refined this melody a lot. And now that we've done that for this one, this is just a repeat of that. So I'm gonna delete the old one and repeat this so that we have the nice new uh, velocities for the whole thing. Now, another thing, if you look closely, you'll notice that these don't all fall in the beat. Um, a lot of them are ahead of the beat. Some are behind like this one. So that was, I did, I played it and my rhythm is terrible, so it was all over the place. And I used iterative quantize, so that's this little thing up here. And that will move, so normal, normally quantizing, you hit the quantize button, everything snaps into place onto the, into, to the beat, basically. Uh, iterative quantize 
is different in that it moves everything a percentage towards the, the nearest place that it's supposed to snap to. So it, it makes the timing better, but it doesn't make it perfect, uh, which is useful <clears throat> for people like me who have terrible rhythm. So, and it also makes the delay sound really cool. So now you've heard the melody, let's put uh, the delay back on here. So I have this ping pong delay. So it, uh, the delay adds a new, uh, repeats the same sound every uh, uh, half note. And it does so uh, back and forth in the stereo image. So now we've got it on, you'll hear it. So yeah, sounds pretty cool, right? Uh, now we'll hear it uh, entirely with the rest of the piece. So, yeah, so that's where we started. Um, the second thing I was going to do was I came up with, just before we started the, uh, the live stream, I came up with like a very simple chord progression. I actually came up with like a couple of them and I'm gonna show you both of them and talk to you about why I rejected one of them. Uh, okay, so so I wanted to do, I didn't want this to just be like one chord, which right now it's sort of like, well, I guess it's not one chord, but it, it sort of alternates between like this and like that kind of, that sound. So can <laughs> we try to guess which one you rejected? Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to turn this delay off so you can hear the chords a little bit. It'll, it'll be really confusing otherwise. So I'll turn off the delay. So I had like, let me see if I can even remember now. So I was going to do, um, that was sort of like an idea I had for like, um, for chord progression. So that was one of them, it was like, And then I don't know where I would go from there. Uh, and then like the other one that I came up with is is pretty much the same thing. It's, it uses two of the same chords, which is just this and this. And it would just alternate between the two. Or, so, one of them I rejected, uh, you know, I'll just say it because uh, I'll just explain it to you guys. So, I started out doing just this, like, just this and then, and then this chord. Um, and then I was like, I accidentally hit this note when I was sort of messing around with it. And I was like, oh, this sounds kind of cool too. But I ultimately rejected this chord because it sounds a little too, it sounds too emotional for a game where you're a, like a paranormal detective and, a, and like with Monkey Island style humor. It just sounds a little too 
Okay, this one doesn't fit, but this one certainly is just like uh, along with this one. I don't know. It sounds too uh, like a little too melancholy. So we are we're just gonna do alternate between these two for a while and see where that takes us. So, and I'm not really sure how we're going to use these chords yet. See, oh, maybe I wasn't clear enough. So it was just like this leading to this sounds too melancholy and too, too dramatic for this particular sequence. When everything is kind of goofy, like the humor is just ridiculous. So, and I like to have the proper atmosphere, but I don't want it to be too like, uh, I don't want too much emotion. So we're, we're taking that out and we're just going to do, we're just going to use that somehow. I'm not really sure yet. We could do we could do it with these too. We could do... Doesn't even sound like anything. Here we go, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Somebody did ask about the chords, and I, I missed it. So, uh, this is a C-sharp minor. Uh, so, it's C, E, and uh, G-sharp. And then the other one, let me, I don't even really know. Uh, oh, it's G-sharp 7th? Yeah. So that's a G sharp, a C, a D sharp, and no, F sharp. Yeah. So yeah, well, uh, well, let's figure out how we're going to use those. Let me listen to this again, and when we get to the end, maybe I'll have an idea of what we can do. Hey, Master Sword. Okay, hmm, still not entirely sure what how to do this, but... Oh, and I did, I forgot I turned off the uh, delay there, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Um, Oh yeah, you guys like that? That's my uh, my lamp from IKEA. It's pretty awesome. Or it's a captured Poe. That was like my favorite dungeon from Ocarina of Time. Was the the forest dungeon with the four ghosts in it? That was a really cool dungeon. So shout out to Master Sword, who is sort of the uh, Twitch live stream administrator for my channel. Uh, she's done a lot of stuff to uh, for the uh, the channel. She's the very first moderator and uh, also um, has helped. She's put in a chat uh, moderator bot that can uh, post stuff and um, 
post links and do other stuff. I'm not even really sure what everything it can do, but anyway, yeah, shout out. So let's um, let's figure this out. metronome going here. Oops, I kind of messed that up. Have an idea here, but All right. So my rhythm is kind of bad, but it's somewhat deliberate. Take a look at this thing, this beast that I've created. So, uh, hey, see you later, recursion. up a bit, move this way up. Maybe we'll move the whole thing a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's super raining outside. It's like raining really hard right now, and I'm super happy about it, because we need rain. Alright, what does this sound like? Oops, let me go back a bit. It's a little too, let me, let me, uh, this whole note takes a little too long to resolve. It's kind of cool sounding, right? Let's put it in place and see what it sounds like now. That second part still takes too long. We'll just tighten it up a bit.
Hey, Narwhal. <laughs> yeah, it sounds cool when it's when everything's a little bit off uh, offbeat like that. with the timing for the second one a little bit here give it some variety We've done a little bit of messing around with it here. Um, yeah, so this is for, I'm making this for Dark Side Detective. So, so for those of you just joining, um, this is for a game I'm working on called Dark Side Detective, which is a point and click adventure game with a retro art style. And it's kind of in the style of uh, Monkey Island with sort of irreverent self-aware humor. And uh, here, I'll show you some screenshots. You, you play as a detective who solves, like, uh, occult cases. So here's, like, here's some screenshots from the section that I'm doing music for. So, uh, oops, there's that's the promo image that we were using for this live stream. Um, so this particular uh, episode is McQueen, who's your, your character you play as, is has come to this summer camp for kids because his partner who is also a camp counselor has gone missing and so he's trying to solve the solve the case <clears throat> so yeah this is what it looks like the art is amazing and uh yeah i'm doing the music so let's go back and listen to the whole thing now So now we've got something here. We can even repeat it again for another couple measures. Four measures.
There it is. sure if I want it to go that long. Uh, we got a question. Uh, do you find it, it's hard to listen to a piece objectively after you've been working on it for a few hours straight? Yes. Have you gotten better at this over time? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's it is very hard. Uh, after a while, you kind of you you just can't be objective about it at all, and you it's even hard to like listen to it. Uh, just as a completed piece, and you're only listening to individual parts. Uh, I have techniques for getting to like working around that. Uh, the fo the simplest technique, of course, is to leave it for a while and come back to it the next day or a day later. Uh, I have like what I call a detox process, where I once I've worked on a piece for a long time, I stop. Uh, I go into a different room. I listen to other music. I even have a playlist on Spotify that I call Composer Detox. And I listen to other music from a ton of different genres that I love. <clears throat> and that gets my mind off of it. Um, and then I can kind of go back like an hour later and be a little more objective. Um, or come back the next day, just like drop it all together for the day and come back later. Uh, another technique uh, and this is super simple, but it actually works, is you turn your screens off, or screen off, and listen to it without the screen. So you... So you go back, you, you basically hit play, turn your monitors off, your screens off, and listen to it without being able to see it. And that helps tremendously. Um, it's a, uh, it works. I do it. And I talked about it on Twitter a few times and other people tried it, uh, and they say it works for them too. So that's a good way of trying to, of like being more objective. When you can't see the work that you're doing, you're forced to listen to it as a finished piece, like imagine it as a finished piece. And that helps you like see problems with it that you wouldn't normally have noticed. Um... Aro Tasami says, for some reason, my audio of the track is way off. You mean like uh, there's a delay? Sometimes there's going to be a delay. Yeah, there's there's like a delay of a couple seconds looking at my display here. Um, that's always going to happen. I don't, I'm not really sure how to fix it. Sometimes it's better and sometimes it's not. I can actually, you know what, I can reset it too. So let's try that. Uh... Load this up. I'm going to stop it for just a second and start it again. And it should keep working. If it doesn't, we'll restart the stream. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and it's a little bit faster now, I think. Or it should be a little bit better in sync. There's always going to be a delay of some kind.
Uh, let me see. I brought in some other instruments too. Oh, I had this thing that I wasn't. I wasn't really sure if I liked it or not. Um, it's another instrument I used elsewhere in Dark Side Detective, but I didn't think it fit here. I don't know. It actually, it's kind of cool, but. I like it. I don't know if I want to use it or not, though. It sounds pretty cool, though. And then I have, what's this? Yeah, this was used a lot in the, in uh, the rest of the soundtrack. It's a very cool sound. kind of got this like huge but subdued sound uh, what else did I load up here these things this is another thing I was loading up presets from the rest of the soundtrack I don't even know what this is. Yeah, we'll see. We might use this later on. Um, it does kind of have a wooden sound, which kind of fits with the forest camp theme, I suppose. But it makes me think too much of the subway uh, section in the game, which is uh, what it was originally for. I don't know. Maybe in this new context it'll sound better, but... Um, How do you choose which instruments to use for each track, says Shea Wise. That is a good question. Um, some of it involves just blindly going through uh, presets and listening to things and seeing what I like and what I don't like. Uh, some of it is looking for libraries online. Um, once I make a track, and I like the things in the track, I will save them as presets under the, and like categorize them for the game itself. So I'll, I'll just like, if I make a track for Dark Side and I like it, uh, and then uh, it, I decide to use the track, then I will go back and I will save a lot of the sounds I made as presets to use in later tracks. Uh, so that sort of like, that helps the process it one it speeds up the composing process for you and two it helps give the soundtrack like a better uh, more cohesive sound so like for this I made a couple of things like this was this is new for the soundtrack like this bell sound this has not been used in any, anywhere in dark side um, these things are new but they are very similar to sounds that I have used and then yeah I loaded up like this thing because this was used elsewhere in Dark Side, and it's a cool sound, and it like, it's distinct. So we'll probably use that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a long, slow process, like figuring out what sounds to use where. Um, excuse me, guys, for a minute. I am going to use the bathroom and get some water. I forgot to get water earlier. So I'm going to I'm going to put this on repeat while I go get water. So I'll be right back. Thank you. 
All right. Much better. All right, guys. Yes, gotta stay hydrated. All right, so now you've by now you've probably heard this enough. Um, <clears throat> uh, yes, that's a mirror behind me. <laughs> And yes, it is a repurposed salsa jar. Oh yeah. Okay. Nope, it's a mirror. You can see me, see my arm here. <clears throat> it's actually a pretty small room. Okay. So we haven't made a whole lot of progress yet, but that's okay. Uh, it's not a big deal. We've talked a lot and we've talked about important stuff, so I'm not too upset about it. this always Yeah, that's kind of neat. Um, I don't know about this yet. We'll take that out for now. Whoops. Actually, 
actually it's kind of neat as if we imagine this section here as a uh, like a bridge might be kind of neat I still really like this. I don't know. I might be tempted to put it in and and uh, see where it goes. Oh man, I would totally watch a stream, a live stream of Allison and Joe playing something. Uh, you guys should definitely do that. That would be so cool. So, uh, we've got somebody asking what we're making here. So, we're <clears throat> in case you missed it, uh, I'm doing music for the game Dark Side Detective, uh, and it looks like this, or at least the section that I'm playing that I'm working on looks like this. Uh, it's a irreverent point-and-click adventure game uh, where you play as Detective McQueen and you are solving occult-related cases. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm trying to figure out how where to take this track and uh, trying to keep it like simple. I don't want this track to get too uh, over the top or too energetic. try repeating this part again. Maybe repeat this too. Or there it goes. Uh, maybe not this far though. Whoops. Oops. 
Hmm. I'm going to turn off that uh, delay again here. Whoop, wrong instrument. This one. Nope, not that one either. I'm silly. There we go. Turn that off. Hey, Amora. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, let's make this a little bit closer. I think. We already have a reverb. Hmm. Turn that delay back on. Hmm. Uh, here, I'll go back f so you can hear the whole thing, Amora. So this is for Dark Side Detective. Uh, here are some screenshots. In fact, hey, let's play it while I show the screenshots. All right, all right, so we've added a pretty cool thing to this. <laughs> Allison, I think we can make that happen. Hmm. Ooh, I've got an idea. 
We can keep this going, because I think it's coming together pretty well. Or let me do repeat this part instead. Got this crazy idea. It's kind of funny. Uh, let's see if it's at a... Oh, that sounds like at a higher octave here. So one of the fun things with Dark Side Detective is I can make stuff sound a little bit cheesy and goofy and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It just kind of fits. And I, it, it's a lot of fun because of that. <clears throat> It's it's kind of neat. Uh, I kind of like it in a weird way. Let me let me turn it down a little though. Whoop. It sounds pretty ridiculous and I like it. sounds good at the right volume it sounds perfect all right I think we got a pretty cool setup here uh, how long is this now we're about at 120 Let's listen to the whole thing again this up. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, Shaywise asks, how do you decide which volume is best? Just trial and error? Yeah, it's a lot of it's trial and error. Uh, so you start at its default volume, whatever it is. Um, and then, <clears throat> so 
So you put it in at its default volume. If it's too quiet, you know what to do. You gotta figure out how to uh, get it louder to fit with everything. Or maybe be more drastic and lower the volume of everything else. Um, if it's too quiet, you can you can say uh, <clears throat> you can like go to the original instrument and try to like um, geez I don't even remember where the controls are for this um, you can try to change the uh, increase the volume right in the instrument oh yeah here it is right, right down here so you could like turn it up here and see how that works um, if it's too loud, the very first thing you should do, uh, or if it just like, it feels like it doesn't fit perfect, um, then lower it down to negative five, from zero to negative five, um, and see how that goes. And then just like, if it, if you're still not really convinced, keep lowering it until it sounds good. And if and if it never sounds good, then there's something wrong with like the piece itself and you need to rewrite it. But sometimes something sounds bad only because it's too loud. And you may not realize that until you, uh, until you use it all. Hey, Pedro. So Pedro and Amora uh, are working on Skytorn. They live in Brazil, but they're coming here to the US next week. And we're all gonna hang out and it's gonna be awesome. That kind of fits, actually. <clears throat> Alright, see you later, Mizuro. No? Uh, thanks for joining. <clears throat> yeah, Miz, that's better. I'll just stick with that. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope we get to meet you someday, Master Sword. Um, <clears throat> you've been a huge help with the live stream ever since it started. Hello, Peter. if we put this thing in so uh, one thing I'm doing with this particular track or one one consideration I've been making is to not have any like, not have any complex percussion. So it's just, it's gonna be, I wanna keep it uh, very simple, so.
don't know, I kind of like it. I <laughs> see everyone's very, very divided on the, uh, that, the bong part. I, I labeled it bong, I don't remember what it actually is. No, it's just called bong. It's a steam pipe. I'll call it steam pipe. So, everyone seems divided on the steam pipe part. Uh, it fits because it's been, uh, the arguments in favor of it would be that it fits because, uh, it's been used elsewhere in Dark Side Detective. Um, so it, it kind of fits with the theme and the style of the game already. Maybe it'll work and maybe it won't, but uh, we'll never find out if we don't experiment. So I'm going to keep it in for now and keep working with it. And maybe I'll end up liking it or maybe I won't. Uh, we'll see, but it's always worth it to experiment, even with things that sound kind of weird. Especially with Dark Side.
All right, let me, I, I do agree with, uh, with Peter there. Sounds like it's re reverbing in a sewer or something. The reverb is too much, I think. And let's see if I can change that. Is it, the reverb sort of built into the instrument. So let me see if I can. That's not it. Oops. I thought we were. There we go. not an effect that I put on there. I'm going to turn off this because that's annoying. Yeah, it's a pretty obnoxious interface. Um, Steam pipe sounds amazing, but it's like really hard to actually build anything with it. Uh, yeah, we tried changing the release, and it sounded didn't really work out. That's okay. Maybe um, let's turn it down for one thing. Uh, unmute this. All right, see you later, Narwhal. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, I don't know. I'm starting to think that the reverb of it is too much and still makes me think of uh, the other piece, which has... Uh, what <clears throat> for the subway. There's a subway sequence, like uh, one of the cases, and that was where I got this instrument for it originally. But it reminds me too much, I think, of that scene, as I mentioned before. I'm going to do something crazy.
Oh, whoops. I didn't even notice this. What is all this? No, get out of here. Blech. Oops, still had the repeat on there. Uh, let's take this out. Turn this down a little. Hmm. Let's listen to the whole thing again. Maybe later. Uh, hey, thanks, uh, shotgun facelift. I'm glad you like it. Uh, the Mokal. Uh, I do know the composer made Minecraft soundtrack. Um, C418. I've met him a couple of times at, like, uh, I believe GDC, Game Developers Conference. Uh, he seems like a cool guy, although I have not really interacted with him that much.
Yeah, I like the Minecraft soundtrack too. It's really good. Uh, it fits the game. It does some unusual things. It does a lot of stuff that you wouldn't expect in a, in a game like that. Although, hell, is there really any other game like Minecraft? Um, uh, yeah, I don't know about... I don't know if he's set for life or not. Uh, I haven't seen any other projects that he's done. Uh, and I don't really know what his, like... <clears throat> I know he owns the music, so that that's good. Uh, but I don't really know what kind of deal he has set up with the developers. Well, it's still really loud. Turn that way down. Like that. Let's do that. Yeah. That sounded really cool. Works really well with the baseline too. That's awesome. So the Mocal asked, "Do sound devs for games make a decent living?" Uh, most of them do not. I got lucky because I was on a hit game. <clears throat> but uh, I believe the majority of composers for video games uh, do not make enough money to. Uh, <clears throat> to do it full time. This needs a color. Yeah, this sounds pretty cool. Uh, Master Sword says, have you been able to come up with any Patreon rewards? Yes, I've come up with quite a few, actually. Uh, but I'm still working out all of it. <clears throat> At some point, I'll share some ideas, maybe on the Facebook page or something. Uh, you guys can see all the 
the ideas for rewards we've come up with that we're not necessarily like committed to doing just yet, but um, there will be a specific live stream album that'll be like all tracks that were made in the live stream. Like I'll make, uh, obviously I'll do soundtrack stuff like this and these, like this piece will be on the Dark Side Detective soundtrack. Uh, but we'll do original stuff on the live stream too. I'm hoping to do this live stream twice a week when I start doing the Patreon, although I'm not sure when. And then uh, after, so the, so there'll be like a, a separate album of just live stream stuff, like original things just for, just made during the live stream. And uh, anybody who contributes to the Patreon will get like, uh, get that album for free when it comes out, whenever it comes out, maybe at the end of the year or something. Uh, that's like one idea. Um, other ideas are you get to get access to like a private Facebook group where we can, I'll, I'll be in the group too and we can talk about stuff. Uh, there was going to be a Google Hangout possibly like once a month for a slightly higher tier backers. And, uh, I can't remember all the other things. One of the things was for really high tier stuff was, it's going to get once a year, send out like a, a custom made USB stick, um, that has <clears throat> exclusive music on it. Again, I'm not sure if we're really going to do this or not, but that was one of the ideas. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. <clears throat> I can't think of it all, all right now, but, uh, oh, Google Hangouts is like a video chat thing. It's, it's very simple. Um, I think I've missed some stuff in the chat here. Yeah, Master Sword, I will, uh, I'll send you the list too, since you're sort of a consultant at this point. Uh, <laughs> and you can, you can see what the ideas are and I'll, you can give me suggestions. back and listen to the whole thing again.
<clears throat> also, hi, Emma. Um, so another thing I've been thinking about doing for this live stream is uh, like doing more variety of, of stuff in the show. So like one idea would be uh, you, I would play some of my really old stuff and talk about it and tell, talk about why like uh, I don't, you know, like what, what things I did really well and what things I didn't do really well and like the really, really old music, which I don't have the original tracks for, but I can play at least the, the song or whatever. Um, like that would be one idea. Another one would be like, I just remembered, like I have this little bookshelf back here full of like uh, game audio and audio books and uh, music books and such. And I could like go through and talk about just like, and maybe at the beginning of a show, like talk about uh, book recommendations. <clears throat> um, tell you what, why I like these books and what, why they, I think they're useful. <clears throat> Maybe uh, uh, another idea would be like to, for me to talk about uh, how I organize my time and show you the tools that I use, like uh, Trello and Evernote, uh, in order to like organize my work since I have multiple projects and other things that I do. Um, I don't know. Uh, it could do a lot of things, especially if I'm doing it twice a week. It gives me more time to do a variety of things. Uh, let me know if you guys think that would be cool or interesting, something you would like. Uh, yeah, Allison, that would be really cool. Uh, pulling up a really old track and then trying to make a new version of it. Or just, yeah, remixing or something. That would be cool. Was loud. Oh, we'll turn it down, but <clears throat> turn on automation. Let's go down. Yeah, Dusty Road is really cool. If you, For those of you who don't know, uh, Dusty Road is a track on my album Color Sky, and on my website I actually posted the original version of it that I made years ago. Um, I think it's ten years ago now that I wrote the original. And I completely reworked it from, the, from, like, from scratch and made like a new track. Um, for Color Sky. So you can listen to both of them and kind of compare the old one to the new one. And it's it was pretty fun. So yeah, maybe I should do more stuff like that. And that would be a part of like the live stream album. 
Um, we could do like take an old track, make a new version of it, um, <clears throat> and then put that on the live stream album. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty awesome. I think I want that note instead. Let's listen to it all the way through. So what does it sound like when we move this down an octave? Yeah, that was good. So we don't want to outstay the welcome of this like arpeggiated bell part. So we'll probably drop it at that point uh, when it gets here. How much time are we at? About two minutes. <clears throat> Let's listen to the whole thing again. Polar bear.
Yeah, I think it's I think this is a pretty good shape. Uh Shaywise asks, how long do you want this track to be? I'm not sure, probably around three minutes. Just long enough that uh it doesn't repeat itself too often when you're playing. Um I don't know how long the sequence is going to be. I'll know more as the as the development continues. <clears throat> There's going to be a bit of a delay because GDC is coming up, the Game Developers Conference, and no game developers get work done during that time. Uh, we're all going to be at the conference. All right, see you later, Timothy. sure where to take it from here um if you guys have any questions feel free to ask uh yeah allison i will be taking photos at gc i'm i'm sure uh amora will make sure that i take lots of photos i'm gonna have her be my like uh regulator sort of cracking the whip on me to take photos while i'm at gdc because every year i'm like oh yeah i'm gonna take tons of photos at gdc and then i never do so this year that changes Uh, oh, we got a question here um, from Uniting Milk. Uh, what was your favorite job to work when you were still part-timing? Uh, I had two kind of favorite jobs. <clears throat> um, for between 2005 and 2007, about two and a half years, um, I worked at Google and I did, uh, I was in hardware operations and I fixed I diagnosed and fixed servers at Google, and it was an awesome job. It was really cool. I learned a lot. Um, it was basically my, like, I, I consider it the rest of my college education almost. Um, like, I did I did two years at, at a, almost like a sort of like a trade school technical college kind of thing, um, and that's where I got my degree in audio engineering. But uh, yeah, the, not long after that, I worked at Google for a couple of years and uh, I worked with Joe. Those of you who know Joe in the live stream, we worked together. And Joe still works at, at Google. But uh, yeah, that was, that was a really cool job and I learned a ton. And you know, it, it paid pretty well. Um, not as well as I get paid now, but it was pretty decent. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it was really cool, and you know, I got to I got to experience that like working for a big tech company where they had like there's tons of free food and like there were pool tables and and cool offices and <clears throat> there was a uh, a mechanical climbing wall outside of our office. It was like it was like a like a treadmill, like a vertical treadmill with like the uh, handholds that you could climb on, so you could just like climb on it endlessly it was really strange but that was the kind of company google was back then they just sort of bought random stuff 
that seemed cool. Um, the other job that I really liked a lot was uh, a company called Recording for the Blind and Dyslexic. It was a nonprofit. Uh, we recorded books on tape for people with learning disabilities, uh, mainly dyslexia. And I was sort of an administrator at a studio. We had a bunch of uh, recording booths, and we recorded people. Uh, volunteers would record. So they would come in, read mostly school textbooks. Like it, Some of it was really boring, like math textbooks and stuff, history books, art books. Uh, you can imagine trying to do, describe art to somebody uh, who might be blind. Uh, or describing equations to uh, you know in audio form it's got to be it was it was tough it was not an easy thing to volunteer for but we had a lot of awesome volunteers and it was fun and it was really chill just <clears throat> uh, very relaxing job and so I had that for a long time right up until when FTL came out and then a couple months after FTL came out I left that job so I could do music full time. But yeah, that's, uh, those are my two favorite jobs. This could be terrible. Whoa. Ooh, that's actually kind of neat. Did this thing break? I'm not getting anything in the chat. I'm re I'm uh, resetting my uh, browser here. To see if. Hey guys, did something happen? Oh. Yeah, it wasn't getting any... I can't tell when it's not going because there's this ad that keeps coming up on my feed that just freezes, so I have no idea if the thing is going or not. Uh, I was wondering why no one was responding in the chat. No, maybe we, maybe, uh, no, I don't know what it was. Whoops, what did I just do anyway? Oh, maybe nothing.
So I don't know what you guys, uh, if you missed my whole, somebody asked me about, um, my part-time jobs and I went into a whole explanation of my two favorite part-time jobs and I think that probably didn't go, go through. Okay, I guess I don't know what the hell the problem was. Sorry for everyone who missed some of it. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna cut it pretty soon. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit burnt out on this right now. Uh, Master Sword asked, "Do you ever get writer's block?" Yes, um, I get it quite a bit actually. Uh, Allison's very familiar with it. When I come out and I'm like, I can't. I I've, I've been working all day and I have nothing, and uh, it's very disheartening. But you just gotta like let it go sometimes and come back later. A part of that is like the detox thing that I talked about earlier where I uh, listen to a lot of different music to try to like get my mind out of my own stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, there's... Uh, I once wrote about writer's block. I don't remember. I think it was sort of my old blog that I don't do have anymore. Um... <laughs> yes, watching Game Grumps always helps. Uh, but yeah, I don't, there's there's a lot of different ways to get to get around writer's block. Sometimes I just like uh, if it's a particular project, like a um, like say I'm working on Dark Side Detective and I need to make a new thing and I'm like totally lost on it. I will actually get melodies or chord progressions from previous tracks that I worked on, put them in a new project, and uh, transpose it or like slow it down or speed it up or something and see how it sounds in a new context. And then that might generate new ideas. And it's like, uh, again, making the soundtrack more cohesive by reusing elements from other tracks. Uh, that can help <clears throat> a lot. Um... Uh, another thing is I have a folder called Scraps, which is ideas that I put together and then threw out for whatever reason, um, but didn't, didn't like or didn't use it, uh, didn't fit with something, anything like that. Uh, I will try to remember to put it into a folder called Scraps, and then later I can go through when I've got like writer's block or something and listen to them all and, and see if I can use them in something else. Uh, some things don't end up in the scraps, I just abandon it and I leave it in its original folder, and then, so some days I will go and look through all the folders for all my projects and find weird random stuff that I had abandoned and forgotten about, and try to bring it back or put it in the scraps folder or whatever. <clears throat> um, yeah, those are ways around writer's block. Uh, but yeah, I get, get it a lot. Anyway, let's listen to this one last time, and then uh, and you guys can feel free to ask any more questions, and then I think we'll be uh, we'll be uh, finished for today.
So that's what we got so far. Move this a little bit. Uh, yes, the thing out that you're seeing in the mirror there is a window that is to my left over here. And we're on the third floor of our apartment, so that's a tree. And it is currently storming like crazy out right now, and it's awesome. Um, <clears throat> so that's what you're seeing. Uh, I am super stoked about all this rain. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's track. Uh, you guys have any other questions? I'll be happily answer them. Take these off. I have so much hair. I don't know how much longer I can stand having all this hair. So we didn't really use a lot of the other tracks that are in here. Certainly didn't use the steam pipe thing. <laughs> As much as I liked it. <laughs> Thanks, Master Sword. Yeah, it looks cool. I, I like the hair as well. Um, just having it in my face all the time is uh, difficult. Yep, but we use the melody, that's right. Um, so some of it got used, even if it wasn't the steam pipe thing. Uh, Shaywise asked, do you have any idea how many tracks will be in this game? No idea yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see if I can kind of guess. I'd say I'm about... I'm about halfway through the whole soundtrack. And I've written about, I don't know, 10, 11 tracks so far. So, I don't know, maybe like 20 tracks in the thing. <clears throat> Oh yeah, uh, uniting milk. Feel free to write down the questions, like, and ask me a ton of questions next time. Because yeah, that's part of why I do this is so I can answer questions like better uh, than I can with like uh, like through Ask FM or email or whatever. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, if there are no more questions, I will cut it for now. And I will be back next week, hopefully. It's right before GDC, I, but I think I'll be able to to do the whole thing. Hey, thanks, strapping old lad. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Uh, yeah, I really, I'm really glad this is helping out people, and, and people are enjoying it. Whoa, Monk of Destiny. How did you find out about that? Did I mention that on a previous stream? Forthcoming album or soundtrack is going to feature guesswork by now. Oh, yeah, I did mention that on, on a previous stream. Um, well, I can't say yet. It's going to be awesome, though. Uh, I got to get my other soundtracks in order before I start on that thing. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, he'll be... He'll be a guest. He's going to do guest drumming on one of my albums, my standalone albums. And it's going to be really cool. Uh, he's a great drummer. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll be back next Saturday. Maybe we'll talk about books. I uh, will give some book recommendations uh, next week. And maybe we'll continue working on this dark side thing. Uh, but, yeah, till then. Uh, we'll do a live stream on Tuesday, but probably not Thursday. Uh, yeah, in fact, definitely not Thursday. We will do, um, 
the game live stream on Tuesday night, though. Uh, but yeah, thanks, everybody. I uh, hope you have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys on Saturday again. Bye, everybody.